Hi, I hope you're having an awesome summer. And I also hope that wherever you are in the world, it's not as hot there as it is here because man, it's hot here and I do not have air conditioning. So I'm definitely feeling it today. Anyways, I have all the new releases for August. So I'll grab them and quickly show them to you. Okay, so the first book I'm going to show you is How the Leopard Got Its Spots. It's a first reading level one book, and it's a Rudyard Kipling tale, retold. So easy text, it's a level one reader, so it's very simple. There's some speech bubbles in it. And of course, as always, at the end of all of these, there's always some comprehension puzzles. So you can ask them the questions based on the story. The next one is a storybook, How the Rhino Got His Skin. So something I'm not sure if I've ever mentioned in these videos is that these books actually come in two formats. They come in the young reading one or the first reading one, and then they also come in a picture book form. So obviously this one will just have more words, it's bigger, and this is a more simplified format of the story. So this one is How the Rhino Got the Skin, another Rudyard Kipling tale all about... Um, how the Rhino Got His Skin. It's a very cute story. I actually opened my new releases when I was camping and all the campsite kids came and I had to read these stories like 10 times. So they really like them. Um, the next few that I'm going to show you are all sticker dolly dressing sticker books. This one is a fashion designer Paris collection one. So it has over 200 stickers. And then in, these ones are actually really neat because some of them you can color and then stick on. So there's a little bit of a storyline in these two. So you can read about it, you can design their outfits, grab out your markers and pick what colors you want the outfits to be. Then the next two are also sticker dolly dressing books. These ones are actually reusable sticker books. So you can reuse them and move the stickers around. So there's best friends and travel. Then we have another sticker book. This is the sticker, sticker Picture Atlas of Europe. My son loves maps and stuff, so he was really excited about this. So you get to learn all about Europe. And then at the end, there's a whole bunch of stickers that you can go through and put all the landmarks where they belong on each of the maps. So that's a great geography book. Here's a sticker and coloring book mixed together. This one's for a little bit younger kids. There's over 100 stickers in it. Very simple pictures. So you're basically just putting the picture or designing the picture how you want to. It's very easy. And then there's also spots to color. Another coloring book for older kids, older adults. Anybody can enjoy this folk art pattern book. I just love how much information in these. You can learn so much about folk art just by reading and coloring in this. Then another coloring book. This one's probably my favorite one that came. It's the Famous Art to Color. So it has all the famous art pictures that you'd find in a gallery on the one side with information about the artist. And then on the other side, it's blank and you get to color it in yourself. So I'm not sure how many are in it. I think there's like 10 or 15 different pictures. I'll just show them to you. So my daughter said that if she could choose one of the books this month, this is the one that she would pick. Then the last one I'm going to show you is the Big Pencil and Paper Games Pad. Now this is a new release for August, but when I went to convention in Vancouver in January, I actually got to take one of these home. This was one that I won. And actually I chose it because it was the only thing I could fit in my suitcase because <laughs> I was pretty packed and it's very thin. So um, it has 30 tear off sheets on it, 17 solo games and 13 games that you can play with a friend. So this is my kids book that they've been working on for a bit now. So there's some popular ones, and then there's some new games that you would have never heard of before. They're super fun. 
you can tear the sheets out or you can just leave them in the book. And then of course, always at the end of these books, there's the answer key. So a fun little book to play with in the summer or wherever. So yeah, that's it. There wasn't very many new releases this month. So that was a quick video. Thank you for watching and always let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Have a great day.